Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about growing bell peppers from seeds and then transplanting them into containers and I almost didn't make this video or I didn't post this video because uh, these bell peppers uh, almost didn't make it three times once when they were in the cups it took them almost a month to germinate at one point I was ready to throw them out because I thought that nothing is going to happen finally they did a month later and then I trans they were doing really well in the cups and then once I put them in the containers they got attacked by a tomato I think what was the tomato hornworm and got all chewed up and not only that but uh, I had little blossoms that uh, never turned into papers and, uh, peppers and started dropping so I almost gave up on them then and uh, now finally they seem to be doing okay so I'm gonna walk you through the process and uh, I'm gonna show you the little bell peppers that are forming now and I don't like to post videos and things that were unsuccessful so I was really contemplating those bell peppers but now they seem to be doing okay so I'm gonna show you the process and also because they're growing in containers black containers I will show you how I care for them and uh, what I fertilize them because the soil in containers gets depleted very fast and uh, they need their nutrients enjoy and as always for my pepper seeds I use the red cups with the holes in the bottom and I'm not using the typical smaller cups that I use for my tomato plants because the pepper plants are not gonna be up planted from these cups they're gonna go straight into containers and I'm using my Jiffy starting mix, uh, which I moisten with water and then I put it into the cups, press it down pretty well and firmly and then I drill two holes in each cup because I'm going to be planting two seeds per cup. Then I place the seeds, cover them with soil and put them on the top of the refrigerator where they're going to sit until they're germinating. Hi guys, Sasha here, the pepper plant killer. I'm going to start with how I planted these guys from seed. Uh, but I planted them from seed and then I waited and waited and waited. Planted them on January 4th. They didn't germinate uh, germinated until March 4th. And I'm talking germinate two leaves. And today is, oh, ironically, today is April 4th. And look how much they grew. And not only that, but uh, they're now forming blossoms. And because I've been so busy working, like crazy busy, I was supposed to separate them long time ago and I didn't because I didn't have time. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna damage the roots with the exception of this one because this guy here he's not going anywhere and I am going to commit murder right now just like that. It's gone. So this one it's gonna be just one plant however these are gonna be two plants in one container and I'm just praying that they do well because I don't have any other containers. I'm hoping for the best because this year I didn't trim the taps so they're not gonna branch out like a tree so it's gonna be just a single stem. So that's why I'm hoping the two-in-one container are gonna be okay but we'll see and what I'm gonna do is two of them I'm gonna plant in the potting mix the Miracle Grow organic potting mix and one in the Dr. Earth potting mix so we'll see which one does better. And I'm gonna plant in Dr. Earth, I'm gonna put two plants, not the single one. I'm gonna put the single one in the other one. And this moist, uh, this uh, soil, I'm sorry, it's pretty moist because I just bought it from the store. So let me see here, I can add some more. So to determine how much soil to add to the container before you transplant your plants, you just put the plant in it and kind of eyeball it to see how much you have to add and these pepper plants are gonna have to uh, be fertilized because uh, containers these containers I just have this gut feeling that they're too small but I don't have anything else so that will have to do so I'll squeeze it I mean look at the, the roots that's just uh, that's just atrocity on my part so I'm going to loosen the roots a little bit on the bottom and set them in just as such and then add some more soil all around it. 
and press it down pretty firmly. Not too firm, but so it's not too loose. But these guys, they're gonna get a really good fertilizer every, I'm gonna have to do it every week um, because I'm out of compost. I don't have any more compost. So I'm just gonna have to do fertilizers because this is what happens when you grow in plants. And th these are not going to go in the sun at all. They're not going to see the sun. And then I'm also going to buy some uh, compost from the store to add to the top of the container. Because container plants, as you water them, the soil settles down. These two here on the left, I, I added a lot of soil. These plants are old. I planted those in January of last year. So they're one year and three months, 15 months old. If you grow anything in container, be prepared to add soil because it does settle. Let me see what's the case here. The same thing. That's just uh, irresponsible on my part. Totally irresponsible. Those should have been transplanted like a month ago. Another thing that peppers like is calcium. So I'm going to be adding uh, uh, bone meal. And you know, no! And also another thing that peppers and tomatoes like a lot it's Epsom salt and I do have the the bag here I've been using it for two years now and I am just about out so I'm gonna have to you can buy Epsom salt from any CVS Walmart whatever any of these stores it's uh, it's a huge bag I'll show you here in a second let me just finish this plant you know you look at your plant the leaves the way it grows and it kind of tells you what it needs because for example pepper plants uh, you shouldn't be giving them anything that has too much nitrogen because they tend to get really leafy and they kind of start focusing on growing leaves, not uh, not peppers. Unfortunately, it gets way too hot in the summer, so I'll keep these guys on the shade just like those over there. They did just fine. And, um, oh, let me show you these two other things. But every week I'm going to be giving them uh, bone meal and Epsom salt and uh, and then uh, I'm going to be adding, as, as the soil settles down, I'm going to be adding fresh soil growing in containers in Arizona. If you're growing in a black container, it has to be in the shade. You can't have the sun because that's going to start cooking in there. And another thing is uh, watering the container plants. They, uh, they dry out really fast here. I am going to be watering them every day. I know this for a fact. I did it with uh, my pepper plants last year. Uh, as soon as the temperature gets above 80, it's every single day. And what I do is I water them at night. That works better for me than in the morning. So uh, about seven o'clock, I give them a good soak of water. But um, right now I'm gonna kinda eyeball it how much water they get to the point where they're not dripping out because I don't want nutrients leaking out of the soil. So now I'm going to start soaking them very slowly. The first time it has to be very slow so I can figure out at what, at what point they're going to start uh, dripping water out. And actually, I don't know if you can see this, but these are the baby leaves right here. So I'm going to get rid of those. Oh, and while we're waiting the whole soaking, I'll show you this, uh, the bone meal. So this is the bone meal, the one that is going to give the plants uh, calcium and uh, Epsom salt, you've all seen it in, uh, in the store, so that's all I have left, so I'm going to go get some. So today it's May 25th and I haven't fertilized them anything yet, so this is the first fertilizer I'm going to be using. It's a well-balanced uh, 466 Alaskan fertilizer and it's good for tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and many other things. And then next week, I am going to uh, add these bone meal since they're already starting to uh, form peppers. I'm gonna add the bone meal to, uh, which is, this one is very rich in calcium, so to prevent the blossom and rat. And, and up above, I'm gonna put a link to my blossom and rat video too. And over here, you can see the little peppers that are starting to form, and this one. And these are the two plants in one container. And here I have a couple more. And here is the other container where I have a couple of uh, plants. So here we have a little pepper forming. Over there we have a pepper forming and a bunch of blossoms. And this is the pepper plant that is just a single plant in one container. 
and this is the one that had a bunch of blossoms and then they started uh, dropping with, without forming peppers. And usually uh, that happens when the pepper plant it's, uh, has too much nitrogen and also that when it starts growing really big leaves that means that it gets too much ni nitrogen. But this is a store-bought soil so I thought that it would be well balanced. So I guess I'm not going to be using these brands anymore, but uh, now they have a bunch of blossoms, this one including this one. And what's interesting is that this year I didn't uh, clip the tops of my pepper plants, but as you can see right here, the, it started splitting anyway. So it's split and a half here, so two more branches, and now this one is splitting over here and it's growing two more. So that's interesting, I thought that you have to tap them off in order to grow new branches. So now for all three containers I'm going to use a small handful of uh, these pallets and I'm going to spread them around and mix them up with the soil a little bit and now I'm going to do this with the other two plants as well. And because the sun is intense here and uh, these pepper plants are in black containers they actually haven't seen the sun at all. The sun goes up this way and but they don't see it at all. And I will bring you closer so I can show you how much I water them and I do water them every single night and you will see the exact amount of water that I'm putting. I gotta come closer for that. So this is literally how much water I put. So I have my watering can and I put it in, I tip it over and that's it. Tip it over and that's it. Tip it over and that's it. So I'll keep an eye on those guys and hopefully I get some nice bell peppers soon. Uh, I'm glad I didn't uh, get rid of them three times, the three times that uh, I, th I was about to give up on them. Uh, because obviously uh, patience, as I said in one of my other videos. But as far as the seeds that I used for these pepper plants, when I started them from seed, I assume it was the seeds because they're old seeds that I bought from Whole Foods. I have no other explanation. But uh, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more gardening, cooking, home remedies and cleaning videos. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful weekend.